hey guys welcome back to another video if you're new welcome my name is kimberly de jesus i'm so happy that you are here and that you joined our family um in today's video um as you guys saw by the title i am going to be showing you guys the best 2021 um beauty um also um skincare and body care and hair um stuff that i use um i really hope you guys enjoy this video as much as i did because i have i had a lot of fun filming this video for you guys so without further ado get your cafecito get your water get your snack whatever it is that you want to get before you continue watching this video and let's get started okay so first thing first we're going to start with um i want to say skincare i want to take out the skincare um products out the way before we get to beauty products been using the one 111 skin harley street london the essence antioxidant energizing essence um this skincare i've been using it since last year 2021 obviously i got this on a boxy charm and as you guys can see i've been using it a lot um i don't know what essence is good for because i haven't done my research i really don't know and don't understand it um it says it's for energizing i don't know I don't know all I know is that I like using this to hydrate my face and to prepare my face for the rest of my skincare and I just love how it feels on my skin so that is why I love this product so if you guys know what essence is for let me know in the comments down below um, so like that I know what is this for so let me know in the comments below if you have tried this um, if you like it if you don't like it and what do you think about this essence after the essence i go with a serum but my serum is almost 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 done and i don't want to use it because i need to order another one and by the time i order another one it's gonna get here very late um so i just been jumping from the essence to an oil face for face oil and that's i'm using the pearl lens rose hip balancing facial oil as you can see i am almost done with this oil this face oil is the bomb.com you can find this oil at tj maxx i don't know if they're available because every day they switch oils and they add new ones to the counter and all that stuff so i i'm not 100 percent sure if they're going to have this oil in the counter um i got this for 4.99 so five dollars and this oil any face oil is going to hydrate your skin and just gives and it's just going to give you most most sure <laughs> hydration back to your skin okay so that is why i love this and it's little like drops and etc i just love this oil i use the elf holy hydration face cream um, it has SPF 30 and is with hyaluronic acid and peptide complex. And I need a backup. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. But I am completely done. All I need is just like a little bit like I think one more week this has lasted me you guys a whole year this has lasted me a whole year or close to a year because i got this like i said in 2021 and we are now in 2022 in january is almost done you guys so um i recommend this face cream if you don't have it go and buy this it's gonna hydrate your face it's gonna make your face feel smooth um and it also and it also is going to give you sunscreen what you need you need protection and it's just very very hydrating on your skin last thing on my skincare routine i have an eye cream that i have not seen results with dark circles but i have seen results in hydration and that is the 
star c eye cream from the brand 1212 gateway if you don't know that brand this brand is from the Catherine Mac Catherine Mac Broom. Oh my gosh, I can't talk today. I love this eye cream, you guys. This eye cream smells delicious. It's very, very hydrating under the eyes. And like I said, I have not seen um, any difference with my dark circles. Um, but like I said, I do see a difference with hydration on my under eye. So if you're looking to hydrate your under eye because they are super dry or etc. I recommend the 1212 Gateway Cream. Let's jump to hair products. I only have one to show you guys. The one I gotta show you is a Suave Luscious Curls Defining Cream. It's for moisturized plus shape for workable curly hair. So if you have curly hair, you guys, I recommend this product for you. I use this for my daughter and myself. This is a leave-in conditioner. Um, and every time I use this, you guys, my curls look so defined, like it says there. Very manageable to work with. And my curls look amazing in pictures and in person. I will post a picture here of my curls with me using this product. Um, and I think this was affordable. I think this was $5, maybe 6 But I think it's not more than $5, to be honest to you guys. But I recommend this a hundred, a hundred, a hundred percent, you guys. So if you have curly hair, go to Walmart and go get you this bottle. Um, if you want, take a screenshot. Take a screenshot so you can take advantage of this live, live, um, live-in conditioner. Um, you're going to love it. It's very nice. All right, jumping to body care. I only have one as well to show you for body care and that is the flamingo daily moisturizing lotion this you guys what is going on with me okay this body lotion is the bomb.com you can find this body lotion at target for ten dollars and it brings 10 fluid ounces like this is a huge bottle you guys and this has lasted me a whole year now um and this is going to hydrate give you the hydration that your body needs and i'm pretty sure that this is good for eczema and for very very dry skin like i say every like i said every time i put this um body lotion my body feels so soft and so hydrating and so smooth you guys and after shaving your legs the legs feel oh, they feel so nice very soft so i recommend this body lotion um i think you could use it on your face i'm not 100 percent sure but it also is cruelty free and all that so yeah you can find this product at target for 10 dollars and they have a smaller size I don't remember the price of it, but I'd rather just spend $10 and get the bigger size. And I still have lotion here, but as you can see, I'm almost done. Oh my lord, I forgot to show you one more thing of skincare. Um, for cleanser, I've been using the Tula Coat Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. Um, this stuff i think i got it last a month yeah i got it last a month and i started using it this month so i wanted to put it here on 2022 because i've been loving this cleanser you guys this cleanser is going to live your skin can you focus this cleanser is going to live your skin very soft very fresh very cleansed and it is going to purify how it says here. It's just going to clean everything, 
you can use this um, to remove your makeup or after makeup um, or for your morning routines or your night routines it doesn't matter this smells really bomb it smells delicious you guys and it just feels so nice in the skin and that after you cleanse it your skin is going to feel very 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 soft so I recommend this I don't know the price of them but um, I will be putting all these products on the description box below for you guys and if you don't see them in the box below I will put the names here in the screen with the price and everything and where you can find it okay I recommend the brand Tula her brand is amazing now we're gonna go to fragrance all right you guys I'm gonna show you guys my two on the go fragrance that I use 24 7 that I use every day that I mix and match I'm like okay today I'm gonna use this one today I'm gonna use this this one like I'm like that with these two fragrance because they are that good this is an oldie but a goodie and it's the Viva La Juicy perfume the original one um this smells so good I discovered it last year I the backstory of this perfume is that I smelled it on a magazine and I was like holy guacamole this perfume smells good and I need it in my life um I went to Boscos and I got it I was like I need this in my life it smells that good it's so bomb so if you never ever in your life have tried Viva La Juicy perfume I recommend you to go buy it right away after you finish watching this video if you don't have it like I said but if you do have it welcome to the club because this smells bomb and it lasts all day and you could smell it all day as well like you know you smell good so if somebody comes to you and you and they say oh um, you smell kind of funny it's like um no mister or no miss i know i smell good i have viva la juicy perfume and it smells delicious and you know what they came out with a new one it's called bubbly bubbly something you know i'm getting my hands on that one i smelled it i went to ulta and i smelled it and i got a sample of it with the paper you guys that smells delicious as well i can't wait to have it in my hands whenever i get it i will show you guys on my instagram so if you guys don't follow me on instagram what are you waiting for go follow me on ig right now here's my ig name go follow me and so you guys can be on the lookout for whenever i post the story of me buying it <laughs> another perfume you guys that i've been loving this one's from victoria's secret i got this for a christmas gift and i just been loving the smell and i just been loving how it lasts all day as well and that is the victoria's secret love mist this you guys this is the bomb this is the bomb this one smells kind of floral con florecita cosita así but it smells delish I always put it every time after I shower. So, alright, you guys, let's go to beauty products. Okay, so I'm gonna start with brows. So, you guys, my favorite, my favorite eyebrow pencil of 2021 and it's going to continue being my favorite for so many years i don't know till i die maybe is the she glam is the she glam eye pencil it doesn't have a name but it's this one you guys <laughs> you guys this brush i mean this brush this pen this pencil is bomb the this is my third pencil you guys that's how much i love it this brings a lot of product as well i can keep going up if i wanted to but i'm scared it'll break this pencil this brow pencil is very very creamy is what i have right now this is a shade taupe this pencil is only three dollars or two dollars you guys like come on this is bomb and then my favorite color nude 
the packaging is bomb it's amazing it also has a marker so if you don't want to use the pencil you can just put the marker to fill in the ball spots but i don't really use the marker because i really don't don't get the the hang of it so i just use the pencil and i am good to go and the shade taupe perfect color perfect shade for my uh, color hair i love this you guys need it go to she glam on sheen website and go get this pencil so i um i don't have no other things for brows um so we're gonna jump to mascara i have two mascara to show you guys and these two are just my number one favorite from 2021 um and if you don't have them go get them because you need them so it's the item beauty and rare beauty <laughs> i love these two products you guys item beauty is bomb i like their makeup and their skincare um this mascara is their best seller is the item lash snack it's gonna give you length um to your lashes and i swear to you guys it will give you the length that you need but it does not give you the volume or the thickness it's just going to give you length so if that's what you want and that's what you're looking for to just have some length in your lashes then i recommend you to get the item beauty um it is not waterproof so you gotta be careful if you're a crybaby like me um so yeah but the packaging of this mascara and just everything the one is tiny but that's what is going to give you the length that you are looking for so i recommend this a hundred percent the rare beauty one is another level you guys this one is going to give you the length the volume and the thickness and this is black and the item beauty is black too this yo this is like 15 20 dollars i don't mind spending that the item beauty is 15 dollars too i don't mind spending that kind of money if i know that it's worth it and i know it's going to do what it claims to do you know what i mean so since this does what it claims to do i'm gonna keep buying it so i'm just waiting for it to dry up or something so i can buy another backup uh, because this is the one i have on right now and as you guys can see it gave me length it gave me volume and it gave me thickness um i dude i love this mascara and the one of this mascara is very thick um this is how the one is very very thick and it's like a little bit curvy like a little bit curvy right here somewhere and it's very very black this one i would say is waterproof because you guys know i'm a cry baby i go to church and i cry a lot and i haven't seen that the mascara runs on my eyes or or anything like that or budges or whatever the only thing i would say about this mascara is that it can get a little bit clumpy Clum, clumby i don't know if i'm saying it right right um but you know what i mean so you just gotta be careful or if you have like a little thing to um separate your lashes then go right ahead and do that but other than that girl these two mascara are the bomb.com so go get your hands on these all right you guys so now that we are still talking about eyes lashes etc i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my three favorite eyeshadow palettes number one is this one from pharmacy it's called iconic this eyeshadow palette is very pretty it's very nice it's very pigmented and it's very affordable it has a mirror and these are the shades of this palette which i recommend 100 percent so if you love nudes, you're going to have your nudes. And if you like colorfuls, you have like at least three that are very popping out there. But these, this palette is very pigmented and it's just very, very beautiful on the eyes. The other palette that I want to talk about, I discovered it this year, 2022. Well, no, I bought it this year. But I wanted it to include it in this video just because I really fell in love with it. 
and uh, I needed it to mention. I mean, need a shout out in this video. So that one is the ColourPop is a mood palette. Um, I did a video with using this and reviewing this palette. So if you guys haven't seen it, I will put it right here so you guys can go watch it. These colors, you guys, are bomb. This palette is very beautiful, very colorful. It's going to give you your nudes that you need and it's going to give you the color that you need. Your pop of colors, your your regular colors that you would use and like I said your nude colors and I just love this palette I fell in love with it on the video I did I used only the blue ones and I'm telling you guys the blue ones were good they were just a little messy and a little powdery but other than that so I recommend this palette 100% you guys if you guys want another video me using this palette please let me know in the comments down below i would like to use the nude colors to Hello. see to see how they are how they work how they apply if they're pigmented and all that so far i only work with the blue ones and so far like i said i enjoyed it and i liked it the last eyeshadow palette that i want to talk to you guys about is the valentine's morphe 35 xo natural flirt this is how the palette looks this came out on valentine's day last year um and it has a lot of pinks a lot of mauves a lot of browns and i just love it because if you know me you know that i love pink i love pink i like nudes and this is just beautiful you guys this is very very beautiful for valentine's day and for date night and all that and it's just very very beautiful they're very pigmented they look beautiful on the eyes and yeah i just love how they look all right you guys so now it's complexion time which i am very very excited to show you guys my favorites of 2021 so first let's start out oh, let's start out with primers and my first primer that i want to show you guys that it, that has been my favorite for dry skin is a fancy beauty hydrating um it's the fenty beauty soft silk pro filter hydrating primer this primer has been my favorite because my face has been very very dry lately um and i feel like this um hydrates my face very very good and under makeup it looks very beautiful so that is why i love this primer i have nothing else to say about it another primer that i want to um talk to you and mention here in the video is the she glam birthday skin primer you guys knew this was going to be in this video if you've been following me and if you've been um seeing my videos you know that i love this primer with all my heart this blurs your skin 100% and the pores like if you have pores this is going to help you with that my love this is going to help you blur those pores if you have them here your forehead anywhere this is going to be your best friend this has been my best friend for the longest <laughs> um and it's like peachy pink um I'm almost done with it like I I mean I still have a lot to go but I need a backup before I'm done with it because I really, really enjoy this primer and I really, really love it. And this is only $6 and it's worth all $6, you guys. Plus chipping and whatever um, is very worth it. So if you're looking for a group primer to minimize, to blur your pores and to also hydrate your skin, this is going to be your best friend. So go to Sheen right now. Well, after you finish watching this video and go get your hands on this. Like I said, it's $6. Foundation time. This foundation is a skin tint. And this is my go-to that I use every single time I do my makeup. This is the one I go towards more that i reach more and it's just easier and faster in my opinion and that is the fenty beauty is drop skin tint yep you got it i love this skin tint you guys and i use shade nine 
and that is the perfect match for my skin tone and it's worth it it's on the pricier side it's 30 something dollars um i know it's pricey for this little thing but it's worth it you guys it's very worth it this is a skin tint but it gives you medium to full coverage and it's buildable so if you want like a full coverage you can build it up to a full coverage this is going to blur your skin literal te va a borrar los poros te va a borrar cualquier imperfección que tú tengas en tu piel this does what it claims to do esto hace lo que reclama que hace um, and I just love it me encanta esta crema tinteada como se dice crema tinteada me fascina me fascina, me fascina, me fascina uh, la recomiendo al 100% it lasts all day the longer you wear it the better it looks the longer you wear this the better it looks and it has no flashlight it looks beautiful on pictures um, so if you're getting married I would say go for it for this skin tint because it's still going to give you the coverage that you need and it's the um, the foundation I'm using right now and as you can see my skin looks bomb recommended 100% and I'm just gonna go to the other product because if not I'm gonna be here stuck talking about this one I just love it this one doesn't have a uh, pump this one you squish out the product and you can just do it like this to your skin or you could just put it on your hand and warm it up and then put it I what I usually do I squish it out like that and it's so easy and faster so this is convenient for those mommies out there that are always in a rush like you need something fast boom 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 you blend it with the sponge I, I like blending it with the sponge it's so good or with the brush but especially with the sponge and you're good to go honey you're good to go other skin tint or cc cream is the elf oh you guys the elf elf has been blowing it up with their makeup products they have been getting in their game you guys their makeup products are getting better and better and i am so proud of them because when i started youtube when my, when i started my youtube channel i started using elf and i'm telling you guys i've been loving elf for five six seven years now that i started my youtube channel i can't remember if it was five or six years ago but i've been using elf since those many years as long as i remember and they have been getting better and better so this cc cream i adore i love it it lasts all day it's full coverage it's semi-matte um oh my lord i can't say nothing bad about this cc cream it also has sun protection it has 30 spf I use two shades, 240W and 330W. Um, if you guys want, uh, I don't remember if I did a review on this, but if I did, I will post a card up here. But if I didn't do a review on it, I will post the last video that I did before this one because I was using this um, CC cream. But on there, it looks like a little bit really warm, like yellowish. And I think it's because I put 240 more than 330W because this one's very light for my skin tone. Um, but anyways, other than the shade, this is bomb. This is bomb! And it's so affordable. I think it's $10 or $11 around there. And it's just very, very affordable. So I recommend this for you that you like full coverage and you like to cover everything and looks good on the skin it blurs as well because it does that it does that i love this this looks beautiful on the skin so i recommend it to you guys one more foundation that i like but this one is a powder foundation and this is from the brand pharmacy this powder foundation i cannot tell you bad things about this because i will be lying to you guys this powder foundation um is a very very good you could use it as a foundation or you could use it as to set your foundation and your makeup but this powder foundation will give you medium coverage um and if you want full all you have to do is build it up it won't look cakey at all if you have dry skin i still recommend this powder foundation because 
trust me believe me when i say it will not make your skin any drier i have dry skin this works perfectly fine with my dry skin and it looks very beautiful and it also blurs i'm telling you guys basically all the products that i have they blur pores okay and they make smooth your skin it looks like a filter like just go with my recommendations you won't regret it at all yeah get your hands on these babies okay these babies all right jump into the concealer first concealer is the fenty beauty concealer this concealer came out two years ago i think and i love that i would say it has medium coverage and it does not crease on me it does not crease on my under eyes it's a very good it looks nice and smooth on the under eye and it just lasts all day and i love it so if you're looking for a medium coverage this is it i use the shade 260 and it's is it the one i'm using no this is not the one i'm using right now but i recommend this that's all you need to know other concealer is the ColourPop pretty fresh hyaluronic creamy concealer this concealer has been my go-to as well i use the shade light 50w and let me tell you guys this concealer has medium coverage as well i'm pretty sure you can build it up to full coverage but um i love it the only thing bad that i can say about this concealer is the fragrance it smells like paint like strong paint and the other product the other concealer i'm going to show you it also smells like like paint and it bothers me it bothers me a little bit but the the scent goes away like a couple minutes later that you have it on and you don't smell it again but when you're applying it under your under your eyes you do smell it and it's a little strong but yeah if you don't like scent then i don't recommend this to you but other than that this is pretty good and it lasts all day as well next concealer is the Haley's beauty rewind blurring full coverage concealer um i'm using this one right now and i don't think it's creasing at all um i have those lines there with any concealer um this is full coverage in my opinion i don't think it is or maybe my my dark circles are too dark i don't know but in my opinion i don't think it's full coverage it could be full coverage um i used it as foundation on december of last year and i gotta tell you guys this concealer as a foundation looks bomb it looks amazing on the skin and it lasted all day and it blur your pores whatever it does under your eyes that's what it does to your whole face it looks beautiful on the skin and it lasts all day and like i said the only bad thing i gotta say about this concealer is the smell it smells very strong but that's only when you're applying it and blending it out and then after that you don't smell it anymore but i do recommend all these three concealers and i think this is on the pricier side um i think this is 20 something dollars but i think it's worth it for the price and i don't know if i told you my shade but i use medium neutral it's my perfect skin tone you guys like i was so scared i was like what if it's too pinky or what if it's too warm too yellowish or whatever but no it resultó ser my perfect skin color like it matches my skin tone um and like i said this is the one i'm wearing right now and i love it all right jumping to powders loose powders i have two i have the she glam and i have the maybelline fit me these two powders here are my top two and i just been using them one day this one one day this one one day this one one day this one these two will blur your skin um and they will look beautiful on your face um this one is an oldie but a goodie and they are very very affordable um this one is from Chin, from chi glam and this one you can find it at walmart any drugstore ulta whatever 
um this one i use the shade 10 fair light i love it to brighten my under eyes i only use this for my under eyes because it does give me like that warm um brightness tone under my eyes so it's what i'm wearing right now and i just love it because it smooths out my under eyes and it feels very very soft and it lasts all day this one has a pressed powder and a loose powder the pressed powder is for your under eye and the loose powder is for all over your face but i use the loose powder for under my eyes and for the rest of my face and i just love how this powder looks on the skin you guys so i recommend both of these powders um a hundred percent they will last you um a, quite some time and very affordable and they will make your skin look flawless all right we are almost done you guys now we're gonna go to um refreshing the face for refreshing the face i like to use the rare beauty always an optimist 41 mist i love this mist you guys like you have no clue how much i love this one so you can tell i'm almost done so i try not to use it as much because <laughs> i don't want to i don't want to finish it i mean i know i can get another one but i really don't want to finish it this is going to give you a glowy finish so if you like glow anything glowy go for this setting powder i mean setting spray you can use this to prep your skin before makeup you can use this in between your makeup and as a finished topper i just love the spray okay i just love it it's very glowy i love it and it's, it smells delicious and it's very very refreshing and it's, it will hydrate your face as well now we're going with bronzer with bronzer i have two i have a cream bronzer and a powder bronzer this elf cream bronzer is very good i use all these three today i only use the top one and I kind of regret it because it's like a cool cool tone and it's what I have right now um but I would have this video is going to be a long one <laughs> okay so what I was saying because my camera um time went off so what I was saying that I like to use all three of them but today I only use this one I haven't used the the yellow one but yeah these are very creamy and they blend very easily on the skin so i do recommend now for um setting the cream bronzer or for just like if you don't use cream bronzer and you just want to use a powder bronzer i recommend the lys bronzer i got this on a boxy charm i got the shade motivate light and let me tell you guys this bronzer has been my go to like i love the shade i love the creaminess the creaminess of this powder like i just love it all oh, sorry my head itches i just love it. it lasts all day and it just looks nice on the skin okay i have it on top of the cream and it's pigmented and everything like i need to get more of the brand of the products because this is a nice bronzer um I think it's on the pricier side. Like I said, I got it on BoxyCharm, so I don't know the price. Um, but I love it. It's my go-to. It's the only bronzer I use at the moment. So, oh, that scared me. Victoria scared me. Okay, for blush, I only have one blush that I've been using on the go. Um, and that is the ColourPop Powerpuff Girls Shade Save the World. Saving the World. Um, and it's a peachy color. Um, I just love peach, okay? I love peach blushes. Um, I don't really like pinky or anything. It's the one I'm using right now. I don't think you can see it right now because I was trying to use the Rare Beauty um, cream blush and it just, for me, it wasn't blending like easy and it was looking patchy. So I kind of like took it out, removed it with setting powder, loose powder, and I put this on top, but on camera you can't really see the blush i don't know why but this is very very pigmented you guys so all you need is a dab and that's it because this is pigmented so if you are looking for peach undertone blush this is going to be the one for highlight i only have one because it only brings four so for highlight i got this on a boxy charm as well 
um and it's the milk and honey highlighter palette this is how it looks um and the shades are just beautiful you guys the shade i'm using today is this one which is sweet be sweet and this is the highlight that you are seeing and i just love it my first time using that one um i love it i usually use this shade right here and the top one but today i wanted to use this one and i just love this highlight these highlights are beaming um really pigmented so if you're looking for a highlight that's beaming out there like look at me like i'm glowing then i recommend this highlight palette all right all i have is lip products and setting sprays so i'm gonna show you guys the setting sprays and then we're gonna go with lip products and then we are done okay for setting spray i already showed you the rare beauty one um i love to use the milani make it last setting spray juicy jazz hooked me on this with her um raving about this setting spray in all her videos you guys know her you know and i had to buy it so i bought it last year and i've been loving it i love how it sets my makeup my makeup lasts even longer with this setting spray i do agree with juicy jazz and yeah go buy it <laughs> All I have to say is that it's a good a good setting spray. You can use it to, to um, you can use it to prime your skin before makeup. You can use it to correct in between your makeup and to set to finish off your makeup. I also love the Anastasia Dewy Set Setting Spray. This is another one that's gonna make your makeup look glowy and hydrating and very nice, and it's going to last all day and i love how this smells so yeah this is and this one these two i love to use whenever my face is very it's feeling very very dry so that's what i like to use okay so i just love this i just love because the glowiness and because it makes my makeup last all right so those are the setting sprays now let's jump to lip products for lip products i have three lipsticks one lip gloss and one lip balm we're gonna start with the lip balm. The lip balm that has been my go-to and my number one favorite at the moment is a 1212 Gateway 1212 Gateway lip balm. Um, lip sleeping mask. It's for before going to sleep, but I use it during the day most of the time. And this is how it looks. It's purple and yeah, this is so creamy, you guys. It's so creamy, it's very hydrating on your lips. Um, bien hidratante, de, um, it's very moisturizing, however you say that word. Um, this is how the packaging looks. The cap has like a little sun. Like, I love, so far, I love her eye cream and her lip balm. Um, that's all I have tried from Catherine, from this brand. Um, but I would like to give a shot to her other skincare products, but... I gotta see which one to get next but if you are looking for a nice hydrating smoothing lip balm i recommend this one is i think it's on the pricier side but it's pretty big and it's going to last you a while i've been having this for two months i think or three and yeah it's just a really really good lip balm two maybelline lipsticks that i want to show you guys are the maybelline um maybelline what super stay matte ink these are my go-to liquid lipstick and the shades my the one i'm using right now is hazelnut 260 hazelnut i love this liquid lipsticks because they last all day you guys the only thing i don't like about them is that that they stay a little tacky like a little sticky but right now it's not too sticky this one is not too sticky but whenever i apply driver 55 this one this one stays really sticky on my lips um and this one smells like chocolate this is from the chocolate collection they came out with with camila cabello so i don't know if they still have that collection out there but this one smells like chocolate but yeah you guys this is the one i'm using today very nude it goes with any eye makeup that you do and etc and i just love these liquid lipsticks 
Another one from Maybelline is a lip gloss and this is the Lifter Gloss Hyaluronic Acid Lip Gloss in the shade 007 Amber. I've been loving this lip gloss you guys with any lipsticks that I wear. This lip gloss doesn't last all day but it lasts amount of like an hour or two. And it's just very glossy. I just love it. I just love the shade because it's like a nude color. Um, like it couldn't go well with this lip combo. Um, so yeah, so I just recommend this lip gloss. Like this good hydrating. Um, and your lips will feel very, very moisturized, smooth, and etc. And the good thing about this lip gloss is that it's not going to give you that sticky feeling whenever you're talking and you can see the sticky, the stickiness going up and down, like ugh. So this lip gloss I do recommend. It's on the pricier side, but it's a really, really good lip gloss. Another liquid lipstick is from the brand Pharmacy, and this is the shade Perfect Rose. I love this liquid lipstick. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys so you guys can see it. Um, that is Perfect Rose. It's like a pinky red or like a mauve, and it just it just looks very pretty on your lips and it lasts all day like the maybelline i'm gonna swipe swipe <laughs> i'm gonna swatch this one this one is driver this one is on the nude side those are bad swatches that was on the nude side which i love with any eye makeup and this Yay. one the hazelnut this one's hazelnut the <gasps> one no. the one i'm wearing right now yeah this one's hazelnut this one's driver and this one's rose perfect rose um from pharmacy perfect. all right you guys so that concludes the video on my best 2021 beauty products or best of 2021 beauty products i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up subscribe and turn the bell notification for more videos like this and i will see you guys on my next video you guys and like i said everything will be on the description box below and yeah you guys i will see you guys on my next video bye